Muy buenas, tarde, muy buenas tardes a todos. Good afternoon to everyone. Let's start the class in two minutes. We're going to start the class in two minutes. So please get ready. Vamos a iniciar la clase en dos minutos. Ok, okay buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ok. Uh, we're going to have the class... Get ready, please. Ya está cayendo el agua ahí. Pónganla en la pila y echarla un poquito más. Okay, let's start the class in a minute. Ok, it's time to begin. Good afternoon to everyone. Vamos a iniciar la clase, sesión 4. Ok, eh, vamos a hacer un poco de recordatorio de las clases anteriores. Ok, to begin, let's remember, vamos a recordar un poco el uso de las prepositions. ¿Alguien de ustedes recuerda? Ok, las proposiciones de lugar que se estudiaron. ¿Cuáles son las preposiciones de lugar? Prepositions of place. What are the prepositions of place? Prepositions of place. ¿Alguien recuerda? Ok, si sí. Vamos a recordar entonces. Sí. Las... In front, in front, under, under. On, in, behind, next to. I don't remember. More. Okay, next to, in front, under, between. Okay, between. vamos a recordar un poco las preposiciones. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. You'll learn the prepositions in, in front of, behind, on, next to, and under. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The images illustrate the preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one, where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? We can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The 
keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers, just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so that is the um, the preposition of place. Let's remember the preposition of place. La preposición de lugar. For example, tenemos in, on, under, If. behind, next to, between. ¿Cómo se dice abajo de? Abajo de. Under. 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 Very good. A la par de. In front. In, in a la par. In front. Oh, next to. Next to. Next to. En frente de. In front of. Excellent. Sobre de. On. 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 Muy bien. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Um, let me see. Atrás de. Behind. 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 Excellent. Vamos a recordar siempre en el manual. Por ejemplo, where are the, the books? The books are in the bag. The books in the bag. are in the bag. Okay, where where is the TV, the DVD player? Next to. Next to the? Next to. Television. The television. Where is the map? The map is much under. It's uh, much under the? Under. The newspaper. The newspaper. Okay, under the newspaper. Very good. Where is the chair? Where is the chair? The chair behind. Is... Behind the? Behind. Behind the table. The chair, right? Behind the chair. Good. Where is the where is the the wallet? The wallet. Where is the wallet? Wallet. What is it? The on, wallet. On there. On, on the uh, on, on, on the on the How do you say cartera? Purse. Purse, okay. Entonces, what the wallet is? Purse. The on wallet the is under, under purse. No está, la, la billetera no está debajo. De... On the purse. On the purse, On excellent. the purse. Good. On the purse, very good. Where is the cell phone? The cell phone is uh, from in front of address book. Address. Book. Okay, good, excellent. In front of, muy bien. Okay. Entonces, recorde, recordemos las prepositions of place. Un segundo. For example, the cat is in 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 very good in the box in in the box. The cat is on 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 the chair on the chair. The rabbit is. In, in, um, the box, in, in the box. box. In the in box. In the box. The rabbit is under the bed. Under the bed. Under the bed. The mouse is under the chair. Under the chair. Very good. The dog is. 
On the table. The dog is under the table. Under the table. Under the table. The cat is in the box. In the box. In the box. In the box. Very good. The ball is next to the next box. To. Next to or by the box. Very good. The cat is on 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 the on the shape. On under in or on in in, in. on on the cat is on in the back in the back part. In the backpack. Okay, the cat. In the car. In the car. In the car. Under, under the under, box. Under the box. Under. Yeah. Let's see. Under the box. On the, the table. Cat. On the table. Under. The cat is on the table. On. On the table. The ruler is in. In the place. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's continue. Vamos. Okay, continuamos con Un segundo. Ok, vamos a mirar la siguiente imagen y me tienen que decir crear oraciones utilizando las preposiciones del lugar que es lo que ven extraño extraño en qué sentido uh, creando oraciones por ejemplo a dónde está el teléfono o a dónde, oh, está, la, dónde está el radio a dónde oh. está la sombría a dónde está el, el periódico el newspaper where is the tv where is the sofa the newspaper is in the world On the wall. It's on the wall. On the wall. The cell phone is uh, under the table. The radio? <laughs> the cell phone is under the table. Okay, under under the cell phone. Oh, no, but that is the telephone. The telephone is under the telephone. Table. Table. Okay. Where is the TV? Mm, the 
the V is bang, behind the in the clock of time. In the clock. Okay. Behind the clock. Where is the radio? The the radio in Where is the umbrella? The sombrilla. The umbrella is um, behind the behind the chair. Okay. Good. Where is where is the where are the chairs? The chair is under the table. Under the table. Very good. Muy bien. Excelente. Continuamos. Ok, denme un segundo. Quiero compartir con ustedes. Ok, vamos a entrar a la sección 3. Ok, para ver el where, para ver la pregunta, where are you from? Where are you from? ¿Y qué significa la expresión where are you from? ¿Alguien recuerda? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De, de dónde eres ¿De dónde? originario? Que por ejemplo, se va a los Estados Unidos le van a decir where are you from? Una pregunta must. From El Salvador. I'm from El Salvador. I'm from Soviapango. I'm from El Salvador. I'm from Santa Tecla. Ok. I'm from. Where are you from? No es lo mismo decir where are you from que decir how are you. Usualmente nos confundimos con esas dos preguntas. How are you es cómo estás. Y where are you from es de dónde eres eh, originario. Ok. Eh, ¿Cuál es? What is the city? What is the city of Brazil? What is the I'm sorry, what is the country? What is the country or oh Tokyo? Tokyo. Japan. 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 Okay, what is the con what is the country of New Mexico City? That is too easy. Mexico. 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 What is the what is the country of New York City? The USA. The USA, US. very good. What is, the con what is the country of Seoul? Korea. 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 What is the country of Sao Paulo? Brazil. 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 Yeah. What is the country of Jakarta? I guess. Creo que así se pronuncia. Jakarta. Indonesia. 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 Seven. Osaka. What is the country of Osaka? Japan. 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 Oh, sure. The same. Okay, what is the country of uh, Delhi? India. 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 Okay, a country of Mumbai. Or Bombay. India. India. And ten. LA. The USA. USA. Okay, the US. Okay, so here we have this conversation. Voy a proyectar el video para que ustedes puedan escuchar la conversación. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, 
are you from Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll listen to a conversation titled, Are You from Seoul? This conversation illustrates how yes, no, and WH questions are used. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. This conversation will become very useful for our future lessons. Okay. Well, here we have the conversation. We have a conversation. It is a... Uh, are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Vamos a practicar la lectura. Okay. Ah, y vamos a desarrollar el ejercicio. Um, no, vamos a, vamos a aplicar solamente la lectura Ok, con nuestros compañeros Acá. Okay, vamos. vamos a practicar We're going to practice, vamos a leer la lectura
Okay, now that you're ready to practice with your classmates, we're going to have the conversation. Vamos a practicar la conversación. Okay. Um, ¿Qué tal si nos ayuda Mr. Marlon y Miss Jensi? Okay. Solo una consulta. Adelante. En Jessica se pronuncia well o will? Well. 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 Ok. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California, not bound from Korea original. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we are not from Seoul. We were from the US. So, is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Ok, Korean, Korean. Korean. Ok, ahora cambien roles. Ok. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea original. Oh, my mother is Korean. Korean. Korea. From Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No. We're not from Seoul. We're from Beijing. So is first Hangwan Korea? Yes, is. Excellent. Very good. Vamos con si nos ayuda eh, Mr. Jose Alvarado y Jose Osorio. Okay. Este, are you from California, Jessica? Embarado. Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea original. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we are not from Seoul. We are from Chilla. Okay. ¿Cómo se pronuncia la, la última parte? Eso acá. Sí. Sí. First. Eso. No, 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 arriba. Dajon. 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 We are from Dajon. So, is your fifth language Korean? Yes, it is. Excellent. Very good. No sé si nos puede dar Mr. Wilber y Mr. Alfredo. Okay. Are you from California, Jessica? Sí, se escucha. No. Yes. Yes, yes. Yo creo que el compañero no ha escuchado que le, que le va a tocar, Mr. Wilber. Micrófono. Sí, Mr. Wilber. sí, sí, sí. escuché. Eh, empezamos. Sí, sí. Sí. sí, estoy listo. Ok, comenzamos. Usted, Wilber, será Tim y Mr. Mejía será Jessica. Ok. Are you from California, Jessica? When, well, my family is in California, no food. We're from oh. Korea, original. Oh, my mother is Korean, from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're from, not from Seoul. We're from Taejong. So, I do feel the language Korean. Yes, it is. Hoy invertimos. Excellent. Okay. Ahora cambiamos. Okay. Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we're from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean. From Seoul, are you from Seoul? 
No, we're not. From Seoul, we're from Daejeon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Eso, de lenguaje, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Language. 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 Very good. Muy bien. Excelente. Ok, ahora vamos a ver un poco de grammar. Okay, grammar. Ok. Las negative y yes, no question with the verb to be. Vamos a ver las formas negativas. Ok. Y el yes, no question. Yes. Okay. Give me a second, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form negative statements and yes and no questions would be. Let's start by looking at the examples on the screen. All the statements that you see are negative statements. I'm not from New York. You're not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. It's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They're not in Mexico. In order to form negative statements would be you need to follow this next formula. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus complement. So let's try to make sense of this. I am not from New York. The example above, when express spoken, we will typically use contractions. So that's why we say I'm not from New York rather than I am not from New York. We make the contraction. Let me give another example. You are not late. Now let me talk about making questions would be. This is the structure to follow verb to be plus subject plus complement. We're going to take the examples from this chart. So are you from California? And then put a question mark at the end. Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are we late? Are they in Canada? If you notice the examples above, you can see that we have the verb to be, then the subject, and finally some kind of complement. In order to answer this type of questions, you will typically give a short answer, such as the examples that you see on the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Yes, you are. No, you're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Now it's your turn to practice. Give as many examples as possible, forming questions and answers and then share them in our discussion forums. Okay, okay. We're going to check it out the exercise in the textbook. Vamos a revisar los ejercicios en el textbook. Okay. Um, página 17. Page 17. Ya la tenemos. Ok, sí, yes. Ok, en esta parte vamos a ver la forma negativa y la forma pregunta. En la forma negativa, lo que hacemos es utilizar el pronombre. El pronombre, por ejemplo, tenemos el pronombre she, por ejemplo. Entonces pues decimos she, un segundo, un segundo, un segundo. No, 
contracción. Vamos a usar contracciones. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Ok, tenemos la forma eh, normal. Por ejemplo, she is she is not. Ok, she is not. Esa es la forma común. Okay. She's not my teacher. She's not my sister. She's not my teacher. Pero tenemos la forma contractada. Hay dos formas de contracción. Por ejemplo, tenemos she's She's not. She's not. Ok, esa es la forma reducida. Y tenemos otra forma que puede ser She isn't. She isn't. Puede decir She's not o She isn't. She isn't. Ok, al igual que He. Puede decir He is not. ¿Verdad? Puede decir he, he he's not or puede decir he isn't he isn't okay, cualquiera de las dos formas el manual nos sugiere utilizar la segunda pero para que por si usted la llega a escuchar el isn't ok he isn't my brother he isn't my sister o oh, she isn't my sister, perdón. Vamos a utilizar esta forma. Ok, la, la is not. Ok, también tenemos otro pronombre, por ejemplo, por ejemplo, I. I, I am not. Ok. Esta es la forma del, del primero. I am not. Yo no soy. I'm not. I am not. O... Oh, también tenemos por favor I'm not ok, esa es otra forma del, del sujeto yo yo no soy ok, I'm not I'm not or I am not veamos el de you el de you es you are no, tú no eres. Ustedes no son. Y también tenemos... You're not. O también tenemos... You aren't. You aren't. You aren't. Esas tres formas podemos utilizar. You are not, que es la forma um, base o la forma completa, por decirlo de una forma... La segunda que es you are not, que estamos contrayendo el verb to be. Y la última que es uh, you aren't. You aren't. Ok, continuamos. Ok. ¿Qué otros sujetos se acuerdan? We. We, ok. We, we, we are not. Podemos decir we are not or we, are we aren't. aren't. We aren't. We are. We aren't. Ok, podemos utilizar otro. ¿Qué tal si utilizamos cuál? They. They, ok. They. 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 Ellos. They, they are not. They are not. Esa es la forma base o la forma completa. Ok. 
La siguiente podría ser they are they are not they are not y la última they aren't they aren't muy, muy aren't. bien excelente they aren't entonces tenemos estas aren't. tres formas de hacer la forma negativa de una forma reducida Ok, ¿qué tal si vemos la forma pregunta? La forma pregunta es bastante fácil, ya que únicamente tenemos que cambiar la posición del verbo con el, con el sujeto. Por ejemplo, podemos decir, am I, am I, question mark, is she, question mark, is he, Is, is it? Are we? Are we? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are they? Are they? Okay. Whoop. Are they? Entonces esa es la forma de pregunta. Un ejemplo. Am I? Am I? Am I? Okay, am I in your home? Estoy en tu casa. Okay, no puedo escribir aquí. Ok, o podemos decir, is she your sister? Is ella tu hermana? Is he your brother? Is él tu hermano? Is he your dog? Are we? Are we friends? Are you okay? Estás bien? Estás sano? Are they your kids? Son ellos tus niños, tus hijos? Entonces ahí estamos haciendo la forma pregunta, la forma Pregunta, lo voy a dejar un par de segunditos por si quiere tomar eh, nota o quiere tomar una fotografía o una, o una captura para que lo tenga referencia cuando vaya a hacer el ejercicio de la, um, de la plataforma. Una consulta. Adelante. En el primero dijo, I am your house. Ah, si estoy en tu casa, sí, es como una pregunta a sí mismo, ¿verdad? Como que si okay. se está preguntando. Am I, o vamos a poner, estoy en lo correcto, am I, am I right? Estoy correcto, o estoy en lo correcto. Ok. Am I right?
Ok. All right. ¿Puedo continuar? Yes. 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 Ok. Vamos a... Yes. Esto es lo mismo que eh, vimos en la pizarra, pues, está acá, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, I'm not from New York. You are not late. She's not from Russia. He's not from Italy. Um, it's not English. We're not from Japan. You're not early. They are not in Mexico. Okay. Are you from California? Eres tú de California? Am I early? Is she from Brazil? Is he from Chile? Is it Korean? Are you from China? Are you late? Are they in Canada? Y la que las forma. I'm not. You're not. She's not. He's not. It's not. We're not. You're not. And they're not. Ahora, ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Vamos a hacer el siguiente ejercicio. Um, vamos a... Completar el ejercicio A. Vamos a hacer el 1, 1, 2, 3. Ok, vamos a completar los ejercicios en cada espacio. Si es pregunta, ya saben, dependiendo del sujeto. Si es negación. Ok, vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Lo vamos a intentar hacer con nuestros compañeros. Ok.
Ok, we're going to solve the exercise. Vamos a desarrollar el ejercicio. Y comenzamos con el número... Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, yeah. Hi, Roshi. Are you in mix in Michael from Japan? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Very good. Oh, ¿qué sería acá? Are you from Tokyo? Are you, are you from Tokyo? No. No. No, it's no. No, I am not. No, I am. Sí, le está diciendo, eres tú de, eres tú de Tokio y le contestan. No, no. Yo no soy. Soy de. I am from Kyoto. Kyoto. Okay, vamos con Laura. ¿Cómo sería Laura? Is, is Laura. Is, is Laura de esto. Is Laura. Is Laura from US? No. No. It is not. It is not. Oh, she's not. Ahí va a depender. Si usa contracción, va a decir she's. Y si usa completa, va a ser she is. Ok, she from London. Aquí se pregunta, sería... Is. Is she from London? Yes, she... Yes, yes she is. is. Yes, she is, but her parents are from Italy. Parents. Sus padres son de Italia. Aquí sería... With here. They are, they are, they are, they are not from the U, UK original. Pregunta para Laura. Is. Is, good, excellent, muy bien. Is Laura first language Italian? No. Está hablando del no. idioma. No, no it's not. I am not. Nope. Le dice, es, no, it's el, not. Es, es el idioma, es italiano, no. el primer idioma de Laura. No, no lo es. No, no it's, it's not. not. No, no. Ok. Es, ¿cómo no sería ahí? It is English. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. English. Number three. Están hablando de Selina y Carlos. R. R. Are Selena and Carlos from Mexico? No. No, no we are. No, no they, they are. are. They are. Not from Brazil. They. They are. No, sir. They are. From Brazil. They are. are you from? Are. Are you from Brazil? Too? No, I am. No, I am. Are you first language Spanish? Is your is it? It is. Oh. Is it? Yes, it is. It, it is. Yes, it, it is. is. Acá tenemos la forma negativa y la forma contractada y la forma pregunta del verb to be. Del verb to be. Venga, se calma. Ok, lo voy a dejar un par de segundos mientras usted tenga la... La captura por sí.
Ok. Voy a, a tomar la asistencia. Okay. Ah, perdón, perdón. Un segundo. Este es el grupo A. Textiles. Ok, comenzamos con eh, Mejía Rivera. Present. Gracias, mister. Mejía Menjíbar, Menjíbar. Rosales Hernández. Antonio Ramos, Mancía Jordan, Flamenco Arias, Martínez Cibrián, Martínez Cibrián, Bonilla Romero, Choto López, Osorio López, Present, Alvarado Hernández, Present, Cañas Rodríguez, Cañas Rodríguez, Álvarez Alo Álvarez. Salmerón. Present. Ángel Batres. Present. Perrufino Perdomo. Pérez Ramírez. Vladimir Aguilar. Presente. Albanés Bonía, López Mendoza, Ramírez Villanueva, Sánchez Ruano, Sánchez Ramos, Ramos. Perdón. Sí, perdón. Santos de Ángel. Presente. Thank you, Miss. Ok, continuamos. A regresar a la. En la primera asistencia que pasa, ¿verdad? Sí. Ah, es que no había muchos conectados a la hora de ver. Bueno, vamos a ir a realizar o a revisar la, las, los números. Ok, los números. Vamos a escuchar cuidadosamente, pues vamos a practicar y comenzamos. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only using long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers, and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stressed syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30, you'll, ha you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now is your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on bokru.com. 
after that you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. Okay, una vez más, vamos a escuchar una vez más la pronunciación. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn a few rules on how to stress syllables. And we will learn how these rules are essential in order to convey our meaning. There are two very simple rules about word stress. Number one, one word has only one stress. One word cannot have two stresses. If you hear two stresses, you heard two words. Two stresses cannot be one word. It is true that there can be a secondary stress in some words, but a secondary stress is much smaller than the main primary stress and is only using long words. Number two, we can only stress vowels, not consonants. In this class, we will focus on stressing numbers and in future classes, we will dig into more advanced uses of this topic. Let's take a look at the following numbers and their pronunciation. Notice the stress syllables. 13, 30, 14, 40, 15, 50, 16, 60. If you hear all the numbers starting at 13, we will stress the second syllable and similar numbers such as 30, you'll, ha you'll stress the first syllable. This is the reason why whenever you hear a number, you may not be clear on whether the person is talking about 15 or 50. Now it's your turn to practice pronunciation. I would like for you to practice repeating these numbers and their pronunciation and record yourself on bookroo.com. After that, you need to share the link of the recording in our discussion forums. Ok, vamos a revisar la pronunciación de los números. Vamos a regresar al manual. Ok. Ok. Vamos a ir a la página 19. 19. Yes. Yes. Okay. 19. Page yes. 19. Y tenemos, ok. Del 11 al 20 son... Estos tienen que aprenderse de memoria, ¿verdad? Después, pongo, después los siguientes, de 10 en 10... Ya así se aprende más rápido. Por ejemplo, 11, 12, 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 20, 21, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, Eighteen, 
Okay, muy bien. Para decir 22, ¿cómo se diría? 22. 22. 22. Exactly. Ok, vamos muy bien. Vamos a, a, a escuchar nuevamente la pronunciación, una, una pronunciación diferente, ok, de los, de los números. Hi everyone, ah, no, this no, class no, you'll no, become perdón. familiar with the numbers. Perdón, perdón, vamos a hacer otra actividad, perdón. Un segundo, por favor. Ok, vamos a hacer el siguiente ejercicio. Les voy a compartir con ustedes el link. Este link es... Vamos a, tra vamos a trabajar acerca de los números. Los números. Ok, si alguien me ayuda compartiendo este link en el grupo de WhatsApp para que todos tengan acceso, incluso los que usan su móvil, para eh, poder practicar y reforzar el uso de los números. Okay, aquí vamos. ¿No les aparece el mensaje? Bien, bien, sí, sí. Ok, ok.
tengo yo con los tallos. Yo sí, ¿ves? a resolver el ejercicio. Number one, it is. Ten. 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 Veamos. Diecinueve, nineteen. 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 Two. 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 El primero de la tercera. Two. El primero de la tercera fila. El primero de la tercera. ¿Qué no se ve? Ese es tú. El primero de la primera. Sixteen. Sixteen. Twelve. 
Fifteen, this one. It's fifteen. Fifteen. No. No. Sixteen. Four. 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 Eleven. 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 Eight. 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 Five, five, five. Thirteen. 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 Nine. Sixteen. Sixteen. Twenty. Twenty. Seventeen. Twenty. Six, 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 fourteen. Fourteen. Oh, sorry. Twenty. Good. Yes, ten yes. out of ten. Muy bien, excelente. Okay. okay. Y esa fue la práctica de los numbers. Numbers. Ya okay. Quedando un par de minutitos. Uh, vamos a ver la conversación. Y okay, la conversación que está en la página... Siempre en la página 19. Cute. Okay. cute. Okay. He's cute. ¿Qué es cute? Cute es algo como lindo, bonito. Ok, aquí vamos. From 11 to 103. Él es bonito. And talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. Hi everyone. In this class you'll become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103. And talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Let's start by listening to a quick conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Who's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister Tammy. She's only 12. Now let's practice expressing the numbers. Listen and repeat. 11 12 13 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 101, 102, 103. Now is your turn to practice and record yourself on the website, mokuru.com. After you record yourself, you will need to share the link on our discussion forums.
Ok, esa fue la práctica y también la um, escritura de los números. Numbers. Ok, vamos a ir a la lectura. Y dice, What's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's cute. What's his name? James, we call him Jean. Oh, how old is he? He's 21 years old. What's he like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart, too. And who's that? My sister, Tammy. She's only 12 years. She's the baby of the family. Okay. Necesitamos dos voluntarios. Uno que sea Emma y otro que sea Jill. Para practicar la conversación. Okay. Yo. Adelante. Wilber Sánchez. Eh, ¿Con quién más sería? Ok, usted sería, Wilber sería Emma. Necesitamos uno que sea Gio. Ok. okay. Ya, yo, ya. Ok. Eh, eh, ya, what's that? He's my brother. Wow, he's good. What? What's his name? James. We call him Jim. Oh, wow, all is he? He's. 21 years old. What who like? I bet he's nice. Yes, he is. And he's very smart. Too. And, and what's that? My sister tell me she's only ten. She she's the base of family. Okay. Yes. Okay. Very good. Solamente vamos a practicar. Eh, por ejemplo, uh, brother. Es como una A cerrada. Brother. 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 Okay, brother. Muy bien. Brother. Aquí tenemos brother. Call. Brother. Llamada. Call. Call. So call. Ok, call. Call. También tenemos 21. 21. 21. 21. Okay. Uh, let me see. Smart. 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 Okay. Muy bien. Vamos a tomar la última asistencia. Ok. Comenzamos con Mejía Rivera. Presente. Menjíbar, Menjíbar. Rosales Hernández. Antonio Ramos. Ancía Jordán. Flamenco Arias, Martínez Ibrián, Bonilla Romero, presente, Toto López, Osorio López, presente, Alvarado Hernández, presente, Caña Rodríguez, Álvarez Salmerón. Present. Ángel Batres. Present. Y Rufino Perdomo. Pérez Ramírez. Vladimir Aguilar. Present. Albanés Bonía. López Mendoza. Ramírez Villanueva. Sánchez Ramos. Present. Santos de Ángel. Present. Muy bien. Entonces, nos quedamos hasta acá. Muchas gracias por asistir. Quedamos en la oh. sección 3. Ok. Ok. Bye. Gracias. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 See you later.
ที่เราทำให้คุณสวาโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเคโอเค